I'm Malaysian. Can I say I'm white? <laughs> <laughs> but like, it's not really about that, you know what I mean? But, I'll, I don't know. I'll, Say whatever yeah, feels true to you. <laughs> Growing up, I always had a fascination with family history. When I started this project, I felt that my mom's side of the family was too shrouded in mystery to do this project on them. So I turned to other people. My grandpa served in World War II in the military. He was actually um, serving in Europe as General Eisenhower's personal driver in the military. After my mom was about five and her older siblings were like eight or nine, that they were like, we're gonna move to America. And it was it's kind of history from there. How open is my family about their history? Very open. I mean, my family opened up a restaurant for their culture and for their people. So I'm just, I feel like very, it's very loud and proud. She will tell me anything and everything about our family's history. There's just honestly, like, we're kind of boring, but... <laughs> well, let's start with this. Ooh, CBS, yes. yes. So this is my mom when she was um, in high school, and she's wearing a traditional Vietnamese dress. It's called an Ao Yai. Um, this picture was taken somewhere in Port of Spain, in Trinidad, which is, like, the city. Let me think about this. You know, here's uh, my cousin Cheryl's wedding in Hawaii. This photo is straight from my grandma's house. There's many like this, but this was just um, kind of an official one. So it's my great grandpa, my grandpa. Who I was a bit envious of Matt. Two, he had an unbelievable amount of photos, something I wish I had for myself and my mom's side of the family. One of my interviewees, Tony, did have a similar story to me. Tony's grandma was more reserved when it came to sharing and telling her stories about their family. Lot, um, she, her family was like, um, like really emotionally abusive towards her. Um, my grandmother's funeral, like this past year, when we were like putting together these boards of like all these different photos of her and like different like eras of her life basically, because she had who I called my grandfather. Um, she started like dating him and living with him and like Tony went on to talk about how the uh, man she like, was calling on, grandpa wasn't her biological you know, grandfather like, which was the same case for me hearing her speak made me realize I did not want to wait until it was too late to discover my mom's side of the family mommy no <laughs> you're not even in it like that you look at my you... hair so beautiful your hair is so beautiful first of all i don't know where she lives do you know where she lives i think she's between long island and queens the last time we all was in communication with her she was in long island she told me years ago that her mom totally disassociated herself from the family and got rid of any trace of us like photos or heirlooms. She doesn't mess with somebody, she doesn't mess with everybody. And everybody needs to do the same thing too, so. Like when you're raised like Caribbean in certain aspect, uh, we just built a little different, you guys. You Are you saying I'm soft? Cause I'm American. No, you're not soft. Now that I'm older, like, she can come see me. You know what or I mean? You could go just see her. me. Or you could go see her. Yeah. Well, that's what I want to do. And I just realized she hasn't even met Luca. No, she haven't even met Luca. And Luca, how do you family. feel about that? I feel so surprised already. If there was anyone who knew where my biological grandmother was, it would be my you great uncle Joe. Baby. Funny enough, his sister was the one I called grandma. Um, I G. Okay. Um, do you have any siblings? No, I'm You don't have any siblings? No. No. She's going through it, I told you. All right. Sonia Basso? Oh, I'm going to say. Eh, 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 you avec... Joe, for him, I'm going to say, I'm going to say. Okay. Relax, just pas là avec Talia, bien relax. Yeah. So, premier monde qui devine, c'est Sonia. Oui, okay. premier monde qui devine, c'est Sonia. Which is grandma, great grandma. Ma, ma soeur. Uh -huh. So, the first one that came was grandma. The second one that came 
was Maiden. The third one that came was her. The fourth one that came was Joe. Sonia passed away before I was born, but the other three siblings remain the elders of my mom's side of the family. Joe is the only one that speaks to his niece, my biological <laughs> grandma, <laughs> Carol. <laughs> Okay, good. So Talia, um, ou konnen la travay nan nan bagay film nan et puis la font documentaire. Et ces documentaires a de famille nou, famille ki vinn ki té en Haïti, ki rentré aux États-Unis. Um, so la font documentaire an um, moun ki sorti nan lòt peyi yo. Um, but <coughs> li te vle interview ou même li te vle interview um, maman de ça et ben papi va régler ça et ben même la jeune ou jeune il ka parler avec maman parce que il a une communication avec maman Wait, but she, but he can't but he can't say the whole like documentary thing oh okay so no. kunya papi li di ko sa ke ou pa besoin d'il de 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 documentaire là li di ko sa li besoin accès pour parler avec grand that's it. Oh, okay. Oui. Il pas lui dire il pas besoin de film non, but il just besoin accès pour parler à Gramel. That's it. Mm-hmm. Oui. He said Ma voye numéro téléphone non pour qu'on ma voye téléphone he asked what's your number. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Mom I'm, I'm going to send it. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ma voye numéro téléphone non pour. He said Talia didn't ask for me and didn't send me no I had money. no idea <laughs> when or if my grandma would give me a call. So I continued business as usual. Blood is thicker than water. The more I asked questions, the more I wanted answers from my own family. I lived in Haiti. Um, Caribbean folks call it an overtime, I guess some African people. Um, when they send their kids to the island, either if they think they're acting up or don't have control, and they just say, the island is a better situation, and they send you to your family. So you were acting up? I was never acting up, but um, I think my mom was young, just needed freedom. Hey, hi, Grandma. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good, good. Um, I'm at NYU now, so I'm, I'm very close. Nice. Yeah, and I'm studying film, film and TV. So, and I'm doing a I minor in business, though. <laughs> oh, that's good. Initially, yeah, I tried to rush the conversation because it felt like at any point in time, she would hang up on me. And I think I came on too strong. And I, I wanted to call Uncle Joe and stuff like that because I wanted to know like maybe if I can visit you like sometime maybe like next weekend or something like that mm, not next weekend <laughs> not next weekend not next weekend no um, I will let you know you get safe uh, n- uh, no, I, not yet. You did not yet? Okay. There's a lot of things when you don't get saved, you don't, you miss. Oh. That means you're not, you're not in the, you're not in God territory. When you're in the devil territory, he, you know, he just mess people up. Not to say my grandma wasn't interested in the conversation before. I think she was just more invested in giving me advice. At a certain point, it kind of felt like we were on the same call, but not really connecting. After the call, I contemplated showing my mom, mainly because I felt the call was a fail of our mission. I don't even, I don't have any pictures, which is the sad part, which I cried for. And it was so sad that I would uncover a photo album of my parents. Over a f- over a friend's house that they say, hey, I saved this for you. And what you know that I just got it probably two, three years ago. I should have access. It's like something that's gone has vanished. I know it, that's it. Whatever I know, I know. Well, and that's that. I'm sorry that I made you sad, but at least with the mission hopefully 
somewhere down the line with at least some of the interviews we can probably get some pictures by the end of my shoot days i didn't have much to show my mom so at the very least maybe okay. i could let my mom hear we her mom's voice together and uncle joe had said that he was going to give grandma my number and the day after grandma called me what shut your <laughs> mouth So hey, you called her. Hi, Grandma. How are you? I called her back. I'm good. Thank you. Um, I I had a question for you. Um, for like my school project. Um, I'm talking to people whose families came from different countries and stuff like that, and I wanted to know like why I'm our family America came to America. My mother would be here. Mm. Because if it wasn't for that, but he, she, she came to America because everybody's looking for a, a better opportunity. Mm. And I'll consider that as a blessing. Because since I'm here, I am blessed. You know, I got some ups and down. That's right. Because life is about that. Because life is not a place. It's not something that people enjoy. And I people say, it's, it's only one life to live. No. Life is Mm. Okay, I want you to know that because when I have my ups and downs with family and stuff, everywhere, you know, with problem in life, I see I already know that because Jesus was on earth, he suffered. You know that? Yeah. Yes. Jesus suffered. He's dropping some when jewels. Thank God for what you have now. Thank God for your father, your mother, your family. Thank God for them. Because next two, three weeks, you don't know where you're gonna be. Yes. Because this is part of life. And so later tonight, I'll send you a picture of. Uh, oh God, Mom. But it was great talking to you, Grandma. It was good talking to you too. Okay. Right. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. See ya. Uh, I'm gonna play again. Okay, so you don't have to play that again. <laughs> what was that like hearing her voice? Um. My mom kept it pretty politically correct about her mom calling. It felt like she was still trying to protect me from her true thoughts. Okay. Um, the fact that she gave the number, that is... I thought my main mission of getting photos had basically failed. Until Grandma, Janine, mentioned she had pictures of my actual grandparents. Oh, okay. She mm. actually had the back of my mom's <laughs> Wait, That's what? my mom and dad's wedding picture. I don't Some know. Some people put the down back in the I don't know if it's a sasha I basically grew up here and haven't seen these photos. Yep. Nobody could she she hides them. Whoa. Yeah, so that's you the golden child. This is me in American school in Haiti. What? what? <laughs> Wait, oh my god, I have never seen you this young before. <laughs> I actually cannot imagine you as yeah, this is young. A, yeah, this is me in an American school called American. But in Haiti. In Haiti, American Academy. Wait, what does this say? Class of 1995. <laughs> <laughs> A couple days later, I ended up texting my actual grandma, Carol, some pictures of me and my sister. She was only mildly impressed and debatably slightly sexist. Eh, I could teach my grandma about unisex names on a different occasion.